Hi, I'm Mateo and today we are on Pet Simulator 99 to go over this disaster of an update and talk about everything that's happened so far since it came out. While Big Apes took a big risk with the concept for this week's update, it took a really bad turn when players found out how to actually exploit the new huges, which resulted in over 50,000 huges being opened in just the first 24 hours. But don't worry, I'll explain all of that in this video and go over everything else you need to know about this week's update. And if you find this video interesting, please give it a like and subscribe for more. Your support helps me out so much. Now let's get straight into today's video. All right, you guys. So I know I am a couple days late now with this update being out, but I had a very busy weekend, but I can't lie to you guys. We really did not miss all that much. I was playing this update from the start and not only did it take like an extra 30 minutes for the update to even come to the servers, besides that short delay, it didn't take long for players to figure out how to actually exploit the very best thing in this update which is the new huge so really quickly we might as well go over how this update works because it's really not that complicated anyways so if we head over here into the event world which you can get into in any of the three worlds so you don't need any sort of rank or to be at any sort of stage if you make a brand new account you can play this event just like anybody else all right so once you're loaded and you are going to be in a room standing in a line basically waiting to go to the egg room now inside the egg room you have a 500x chance at getting the huge chest mimic well it's not like the huge chest mimic that is already in the game it's like the huge toy chest mimic so basically all of the huges in this room are like the baby versions of huges that we already have so for example this huge here that is at the egg that we're currently at is the huge baby kitten i'm not sure why it's not just the huge baby cat because a kitten is a baby cat so i don't know why it's a baby kitten but hey i'm not on the design team for big game so you know i'm not judging but yeah this is another one of the huges so depending where you are in line so if you are in this yellow section, you're going to be opening this egg. If you're in this green section, you're going to be opening this one. If you're in this orange section, you're going to be opening that one. Now, the further you get in the line, the higher the actual odds that you're going to have in order to get one of these huges all the way up to this front egg, which is a 50 X huge chance. And I'll have the odds on the screen here from Kopi cat. Now, apparently he said these actually did get easier. I'm not too sure how much easier they are from here. I believe he said they got improved by 25%. So at the first egg right here, this 50x huge chance, you should be getting a 1 in 75,000 odds to get the huge. Now, keep in mind, this isn't like a regular egg in any of the event worlds we've had before, because usually you can open up to 99 pets at once. But in this event world, you are only going to be able to open one pet at a time. So basically, if the odds to get this huge were really one out of 100,000, that kind of makes sense, because if we were opening 100 eggs at once, 100 times 100,000 is 10 million, which is usually the odds that Big Games picks for these event huges in the first place. So basically, if you are at this last egg you are getting pretty decent odds for an event huge especially if they really did increase the odds by 25 percent it's basically like a one in 7.5 million chance if we were in a regular event world opening 99 eggs at once now originally when this update did come out this huge toy chest mimic was a one in 10,000 chance to get which is really really stupid good and this combined with a big exploit that we'll talk about in a minute is why there is over 62,000 of these huges already opened in the first two days. So like I said, the odds were originally one out of 10,000 to get it from this, but then they went ahead and nerfed it to one out of 50,000. And then even today they doubled it again. So it's now one out of 100,000 to get the huge from that egg. So it's essentially a little bit harder than actually getting the huge from this green area. So technically this is really the best spot for you guys to be. Besides that, there's also a ton of other pay to win mechanics that they implemented within this update such as being able to pay robux to cut spots and then you can cut up to like 10 spots right here if you wanted you can also troll people in your server with this swap steal or send them to the back of the line now i'm pretty sure nobody's really buying these so i hope none of you guys wasted your robux on this you could also just cut in line using coins that you get from opening this egg and standing in line apparently the better the pets you use the more coins you get so if you 
have a ton of coins, you can essentially just keep skipping people in line. And there is an auto cut feature right here that you can use to essentially like skip all the way to the front if you have a ton of coins. Basically, if you turn this on, every time you get enough coins, it's automatically going to have you skip the person in front of you. And I think you need to be in the front of the line for like 30 seconds in order to actually get to this egg room. And then basically the last thing here is that you can also do these upgrades that upgrades how many coins you get as well as a bunch of other really important things like for example you can actually increase your huge chances as well i believe up to a total of 25 percent if you get this last upgrade and then you can get other really important upgrades like increasing how long you get to stay in that room and open the final egg for. But I think you guys can pretty much see so far with this update that it's kind of just not hitting. I definitely think this was a risk that big games took implementing this mechanic into the game for the update. I just unfortunately don't think it really hit. Now this guy up in the front was actually opening gifts, which reminds me there is actually a third huge that you can get by standing in this area. Now that third huge is going to be the huge baby puppy, which once again, they said baby puppy when a puppy is already a baby dog. So I don't know what big games is doing with these names. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't work for them. So I don't, I'm not going to try to correct them, but the odds to get the huge baby puppy from this gift bag is actually a one in 5,500 chance. Now in order to get the gift bags, I think all you have to do is actually stand in the line so over time you are going to get a few of these gift bags for yourself me for example i've only gotten a total of 10 so far in the first two days that i've been standing here in the description it says earned from drops in the line so i'm not sure exactly what drops you're getting from standing in this line you can't even equip pets or anything but i guess the longer you stand here the more of those gift bags you're going to get and then you have a one in 5,000 chance to get a huge from them. So if it just stopped there, it probably would have been fine. As you guys know, Big Games has missed on quite a few updates that just weren't that engaging or fun to play. But unfortunately, besides the update just not being that fun in general, people also found a way to actually exploit this egg room as well as this egg here, I'm pretty sure. So if you remember earlier, like I said, you are only opening one pet at a time. So basically what the exploit was is that they used some sort of code that they injected into the game that allowed them to actually open 99 of these pets at once, which theoretically made their chances at getting one of these huges 99 times more likely. And you guys can see that in the numbers, I'll probably have a screenshot on the screen here, but essentially people were getting a load of these huges, over 50,000 of these huges in the first 24 hours of the update being out. Now at the time of recording, in this video this exploit was patched so there is a lot less people actually getting this huge and then like i said earlier they did increase the odds it was just one in ten thousand at the beginning of the update they then nerfed it to one in fifty thousand and now it's sitting at one in a hundred thousand which if this was a normal event world is still a one in ten million chance which is exactly what we usually get in updates it's actually probably a little better i think as of recently big games were making the new event huge is like a one in 13 million chance something like that so all things considered the odds to get a huge from this update are actually pretty decent it's just really unfortunate that probably 90 percent plus of those 50,000 huges that were opened in the first 24 hours went to people that were exploiting the game and not playing fairly if all of these huges went to regular players and players that have been grinding and working for these huges then it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal but because all of these exploiters were able to get tons and tons of huges by doing this method it really just puts a bad taste in your mouth about this update and then on top of that in order to participate in this update you also don't need anything unlocked in the game you can literally make a brand new account log into the game walk into the event world and get in line and you're gonna have the same exact odds that i do which i guess is pretty good for the newest of players that are playing the game but honestly i don't feel like there's like any new players that play this game anymore and what the big issue with that fact is is that people can just make 50 plus accounts log into the game and they are absolutely printing huges right now so even though the odds got 10 times harder there are still over 20,000 of these huges that were opened in the last 24 hours and again probably the vast majority of the people that are getting those huges are going to be people that can run 50 plus accounts on like a virtual machine or something because i have a pretty strong computer and i am pretty sure i could not run 50 accounts if i wanted to so while this was an interesting concept that big games tried out 
Overall, I think it was a big flop just because of how exploitable it was and how many huges people were able to print. And then on top of that, every single public server that you go into is no longer full and you basically spawn in at this green egg. So it's like the mechanics of the game don't really matter. You don't really even need to skip people. You just turn auto cut on and then every once in a while, you're going to be in this room opening this egg constantly. And yeah, once that timer actually ends, this is the room that you get in and this is where you have that one in a hundred thousand chance at getting one of these huges and because the servers aren't full people really aren't even fighting for a spot it's really easy to get in here i'm not sure why there aren't 50 people in these lobbies like there were at the start of the update but again it just really puts a bad taste in your mouth when 90 percent of these many many huges that are going out are going out to exploiters and people who are cheating the game and not playing fairly and then on top of that they added a ton of these pay to win features that i'm not sure why anybody would engage in you can pay 29 robux for an extra five minutes on this egg definitely not worth it in my opinion but and then if you go through the change log in game you can see that this is pretty much everything that we got in the update it was only about this event we got a new clan battle and the new clan battle is i'm pretty sure to just open up all of these event huges so you're basically just going to be waiting in line for the next two weeks it seems like big games took a big risk with this week's update and it really just isn't the move unfortunately but hey if you guys enjoyed it let me know down in the comment section below and maybe i'll change my mind but overall i think this update was a big failure and who wants to just log into a game to stand in line and open a huge this is even less engaging than the already non-engaging game that we have usually but hey you guys i guess big games will live and learn from this update and hopefully do better next time if you did enjoy this video remember to give it a like and subscribe for more pet simulator 99 videos hope to catch you guys in the next one and peace out